And hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment with me, your host Jonathan, and of course BB-8, bringing you another episode review, and this time is for Batwoman Season 2, Episode 9. So if you haven't seen Batwoman, spoilers, um, nothing really too major here happened, except towards the end, which kind of gives us some interesting questions, but not enough answers to it. But overall episode, not bad, not bad. So we all knew that um, Raya, or Ray, um, Ryan, she was pretty much affected by the kryptonite. And now that she's cured, you know, now she has, the, um, I guess, the take up the, ma officially take up the mantle of the Batwoman due to the fact that everybody in her camp and her circle think that Kate Kane is dead but they do not know that she's actually alive and uh, disfigured because we did see her at the end of last week's episode uh, when they recasted her um played by uh, Willie Days I believe and um so they, in the beginning of the episode we get to see Kate Kane's funeral which pretty much means a coffin full of like I guess mementos because there was no body recovered so so somebody has covered up the fact that Kate Kane is dead. Well, we don't find that out until the end of the episode, but I'll get to that in a minute. While that happens, you we get to meet a couple of new people in this episode. Um, Ryan's so-called on and on, on off. Again, girlfriend shows up saying that she wants to get out of the gang that she's a part of. And um, the gang that she works for ends up being the gang that is controlled by Black Mask. That's right, the DC Batman villain Black Mask is in this episode. And, um, yeah, he has a bunch of gangs that, you know, go around attacking people and doing, you know, selling drugs or whatever that he does. You know, typical gangster stuff. And one night, um, apologize for that. Um, one night, um, one, a group of them go after the commissioner who says that he's going to stop and nothing for putting these gangsters away. He gets gunned down. Um, a witness sees it happen. They start to chase her. And then we find out that that's a witness who saw this. Who was trying to, I guess, get the police to stop, you know, harassing black people. And um, she, we end up finding out that she is the sister of Sophie. So Sophie has a little sister. So that, that was pretty interesting. Then, of course, we get Batwoman trying to deal with what is she going to do with the fact that her... Her supposed other is one of these members and she doesn't know how to deal with the fact that she wants to turn her in. But then again, she wants to forgive her. She's not sure if she should believe her. While well, Mia and uh, Maya and the um, and um, Luke are like telling her, listen, she can't be trusted. We got we got to call the police and not lock her up because she was the getaway driver. Apparently found they found that out and we get to see Batwoman um, kind of like fight black mask a little bit which is interesting but um yeah a very interesting episode but yet once they found out that their driver became the prime um squealer i guess they end up going after her which totally means okay but they have a witness who saw you commit a crime yes there were technically two witnesses but you don't just ignore the first witness they go after the first witness one time which is Sophie's sister, and then after Batman beats up the bad guys, and says, hey, she's gonna not squeal, so leave her alone. They just like, okay, no problem. Yeah, 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 the witness is not gonna tell anybody that we killed the commissioner. That made no sense to me, but okay. But then again, they find out that their one of their own is a squealer too, but yet she wasn't gonna squeal, but yet they go after her the most hard, in the most hardcore way. Very, very confusing, like, way to end this episode, but, um, yeah, very different. And then, of course, at the end of the episode, we find out that, um, Ryan's girlfriend, she decides to just take all the blame for herself and be like, I'm the one who, who, um, shot that guy, the cop, the commissioner, or, uh, lieutenant, or captain, whatever he is, I forgot what rank he was. Anyway, she took the blame because... She felt like, okay, if I protect her, I protect Ryan from Black Mask. Black Mask said, if you squeal on anybody, I'll kill the ones you love, which is, of course, is Ryan. So there's that. 
So now the girlfriend's locked now, locked up in jail. And then, of course, the ending of the episode, we see Black Mask open up a cell. And we see Kate King, disfigured with her face, bandaged up a little bit. And this woman shows up saying that her name is Nigma. So either she's related to Edward Nigma, aka the Riddler, or she's going to be the new Riddler. I, I don't know. And then she's like, oh, we got plans for you. She takes off her necklace that she always wears. She says, Kate Kane's dead, and they got plans for her. What does that mean? No idea. But, um, yeah, very interesting ending. Very confusing. But, um, it was a very interesting episode. But, um... Now, now we just have to wait to see what happens with uh, when Kate Kane officially returns. So, um, yeah. I liked the episode. But yet, like I said, very weird how one, like the bad guys will go after one witness. And then when Batwoman comes, says that she won't, won't squeal. They just literally stop chasing her. So, what does that mean for her Sophie's sister? No idea. She's just going to be there, I guess. Walking around knowing that she knows the actual truth about who killed uh, the commissioner. So, um, that's going to be interesting to see what happens with that. If that actually has anything to do with anything that moving forward. But, um, we have to wait and see. So, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about the episode. Stay tuned for more. Thank you very much and have a good day.